We begin with breaking news involving a footy star caught out in a disgraceful video. Dan Nolan joins me with this exclusive story. So, Dan, let's say who this is and what he's done. Well, Tracy, the player in question is one of the biggest names in the code. But tonight, this video leaves serious question marks on his future with the season just weeks away from kickoff. His name is Mitchell Pearce. He is the captain of the Roosters NRL side. He's won premierships and played State of Origin. But last night, his Australia Day festivities took a turn into insanity. He's been captured on video in what could only be described as alcohol fueled madness. He's slurring his speech, trying to kiss a woman, and then does something with her pet dog that really defies belief. We received this video today and are playing it to you in its entirety without editing so you can decide if this is appropriate behaviour for a highly paid football star. What's your name? What's your middle name? Exactly. 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 Dog, I don't even care anymore. I care. You can eat on my couch. You can eat on yourself. Get the out. Chris, you can't do that. Let me see. It's not red first. We're not claiming land rights here. Get out. 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 No, no, let her get a number. It really is quite unbelievable stuff. Now, we've shown you that video in its entirety so you can see exactly what we have. The only thing we've beeped was the swearing, obviously as well as the names of some of the other players who this group was saying they were. Basically, they were throwing out false names of players who weren't there. To give you some context, earlier yesterday, Pierce posted these pictures on his Instagram account. One said, heading out to the boat cruise with the boys, happy Aussie day. The next one, love these blokes. And he's there with a big crew underneath the Harbour Bridge and in there there are some other Roosters players. It would seem some of those who'd been drinking there earlier have kicked onto this party and once the behaviour has started to deteriorate, someone started filming on their phone. Now, we'll show you some of those key scenes again because it really is hard to take it all in on first look. And remember, this guy is the captain of one of the highest profile footy clubs in the country. What's your name? Straight, what's your middle name? Exactly. 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 How many men do you like? Oh. Rich, you can't do that. Oh. 
Aboriginal. Okay, I don't so. care. It's not red first. We're not claiming land rights here. Get up. Oi. Oh. 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 Animals and that. Yeah, that's my brother. Keep it up, Dave, but keep it up, Dave. Yeah, no, no. Oh, you have to go. Oh, yes. You do it, Keep it up. See you, it doesn't get any easier to watch. Dan, we should underline the point that uh, Mitchell Pearce is not some green youngster sort of learning how to deal with fame. He's old enough to know better. Absolutely. I mean, he's the captain of the team. There is no bigger leadership role within the club. He's also rugby league royalty. His dad, Wayne Pearce, was a legend of the game. His dad was also, or now serves on the Rugby League Commission, which controls rugby league in this country. If ever a player should have known better, it would be Mitchell Pearce. He does have a troubled history with alcohol, though, doesn't he? He does. Alcohol, an alcohol incident cost him his place in the State of Origin team two years ago. That was in King's Cross. It involved a woman and it also involved the police. Now, on that occasion, he copped a $20,000 fine and then went on a self-imposed alcohol ban, ban and got himself back together, got back in the Origin team last year, but clearly the wheels have fallen off again, it would seem. I must say, the young woman in that video kept an admirably cool head. She really prevented the situation from escalating, didn't she? Definitely, definitely. We're told this happened at about 1am this morning. That many guys, that much booze, anything could have happened, really. And a lot of the time when people see videos like this where they see their footy stars uh, misbehaving, they often jump straight in there to blame other parties, but it's really hard to see how anyone could blame her. She was calm and she handled as well as she could. Let, let's get a crystal ball out and wonder now what the league and the club will do once they get a chance to digest this video. Well, we informed the Roosters about this video this afternoon. They are now investigating it and say their integrity unit will also uh, be looking at it. No doubt the NRL and its integrity unit will also investigate. We know that the chairman of the ARL Commission, John Grant, is aware of the video, as is the Roosters boss, Nick Politis. As for action, well, it's really hard to tell. Incidents like these have ended in people's careers being finished. We all remember the infamous bubbler incident involving Todd Carney. Mitchell Pearce has had issues with alcohol before, but it just really defies belief that someone with one of the highest profiles in all of Sydney could behave like that. OK, thanks, Dan. We'll watch and see what develops.